A small percentage of people with macular pucker or epiretinal membrane um, get better on their own. The um, membrane that's growing on the surface just peels off. And if that's the case, they usually recover some vision and go back towards normal. For most people who are symptomatic, in other words, they notice distortion or some blurring of their central vision, an operation is the best way of firstly preventing things worsening and secondly actually improving their vision, um, either the quality of vision, the distortion, the blurring, or the quantity, how much that you see down the chart. The operation is called a vitrectomy and a vitrectomy is a removal of the jelly within the eye. Once the vitrectomy is done, the membrane is picked up and peeled off. I always peel the layer underneath that, which is the surface of the macula, called the inner limiting membrane, so that I can be sure that all the scar tissue has come off the center of the macula. At the end of the operation, once the vitreous has been removed and the epiretinal and inner limiting membranes are removed too, I put some steroid into the eye that people often see after the surgery is lots of little black dots for a, a week or so, and I put a bubble of air into the eye to help seal the eye. And that bubble of air is often seen as um, a black wobbly line that gets lower and lower and smaller and smaller with time. And usually it's gone within five days after the surgery. Straight after the surgery, um, people's vision is often much worse. Uh, I always warn them about this because um, they're used to hearing from their friends of how some, their friends had cataract surgery or laser surgery, where the next day they were seeing fantastically well. That's, it's, a, it's the exact opposite after this operation. Firstly, because um, when the membrane's peeled off, it pulls on the surface of the macula. So the macula actually ends up being distorted more at the end of the operation, so it doesn't work as well. Secondly, having a bubble of air in the eye with the reflections associated with it means that they can't see clearly. And thirdly, having the black spots from the steroids affects their vision. And finally, just having an operation means your vision isn't quite so clear. Usually, the vision recovers over a matter of weeks to months. So most of the improvements in the vision doesn't really happen until at least two weeks after surgery. And it's really important people understand this and are prepared for it.